Hello, my lovely Sagittarians. This is Des and this is your TGIF for weekly reading for Friday, the 23rd of June, 2023. Sagi, I hope you're well. It's great to be with you. Guys, let's get straight into this. Using an angel or a to help me connect through with source and the deck is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. If you guys want a private reading, you can reach me. My website is in the description box below. And if you fancy joining the channel, I put out weekly videos. If that sounds like something you'd enjoy, click the join button and the information's all there. Okay. All right, Saggy, what's going on for my Sagittarians? On Kendall Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Friday, the 23rd of June, 2023. What's going on for Sag, please, Michael? Thank you. What's going on for Sag? Moving into the weekend and a brand new week. Oh, okay, Michael. Yeah. Yes, that's it. He's saying that's it. Okay, let's see what's going on. Goodness, Sag, we've got someone deep in regret. Okay, we start off with your card of temperance. Now, this is your energy. Okay, this is you healing. You're very calm, you're sitting in serene energy, you're sort of taking stock. With the energy of the sun, you shine your light incredibly brightly, Sag. For some of you, you're light workers. You became enlightened, Sag, that someone that you were dating was messaging somebody else behind your back. And with the star, you had to pull yourself back from the situation and heal. You know with judgment, another Sagittarian card, that you made the right decision. The problem is, Sag, is that with a five of pentacles, this is someone who is now really missing you. This is someone who knows what they did with the two of pentacles. And they've been trying to make a decision as to whether or not if they communicate with you, is there any chance for reconciliation? This is someone with a page of wands who you may have caught messaging somebody else, but I think they are spying on you, trapped in their mind, because what they want to do is reach out. I'm so sorry, Sag. I'm sorry for what I did. I want to get back together again with you. But Sag, I've got to admit, I think that you have already healed. I think it's done, but we will see. All right, see if we can get any more information, Saji, for you. This was difficult. All right, Michael's saying that's it. Let's see what these cards say. So guys, with Stanley Stone's passage, I think you were in a very serious, maybe live-in situation with somebody, possibly engaged, possibly even married, okay? That for me is the equivalent to the Four of Wands. You trusted this person implicitly with Crystal Cave Trust. This is someone that you never thought would hurt you, never thought would step out on you. You were their refuge and vice versa. This was a powerful connection, Sag. But there was a point of time where you may have followed this person or sort of joined up the dots and realised that something else was going on that you didn't know about. So I think what you decided to do was to put up boundaries with the energy of protection. You may, if you had been at all giving this person money, supporting them in any way, I think you pulled back, you protected your money, and this is you deciding to heal. Bear spirit. The divine is with you, Sag. You were in a very cold partnership, unbeknown to you, and this is you moving forward in a new direction, okay? So Sag, 4.44 on the clock. You will regain your stability. The angels and archangels are with you. And I feel you may have been guided to figure out what this person was doing for your own protection. Yeah? So that you could understand what was going on and detach and move forward in a new direction. So guys, let's dip into tarot. This is the Arcanum tarot. 
What's this all about for Sag, please? Where does this story start for my Sagittarians? The Hierophant, my goodness. So Sagittarius, for some of you, you were married to this person or that you or you were in a high level of commitment. For some of you, you could have been in a relationship with a Taurus or a Virgo with a Hermit. But this is you having to do some soul searching about this relationship, following finding out that your person wasn't honest with you. Who was this person? Sag, for some of you, you caught your wife cheating with someone else. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Page of Pentacles. She may have said she had a friend, but actually that friend might have turned out to be her lover. You guys may even have a child together, Sag. Seven of Pentacles. This is you looking at all the investment that you put into this connection. You may have supported her financially. Yeah. But with the Knight of Wands, Sag, I think you realise that you had to break free because she was sitting in the Knight of Wands, potentially spending time with someone else. Mm. Magician. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. This is someone who was manifesting... An affair. Wow. Yeah. And there was a tower moment. There was a tower moment. Everything collapsed. Everything collapsed. Knight of Swords. It's sad. You may have rushed in with some harsh words when you found this out. It might have been a really difficult thing to face. Yeah. The Chariot Sag. I think you rushed in to figure out the truth or to call this woman out. Yeah, Emperor and Empress, you were possibly married, Sagittarius, to this woman. Three of Pentacles, you found that she was developing a relationship with someone else. Third party situation. Yeah, whilst she was in a commitment with you. Yeah. So, Sarge, with the King of Swords, I think you're speaking your truth. I think for you, this is over. You may be seeking legal advice to get out of this relationship. Eight of Swords, you're in your head. What is the best thing to do? I think you know, Sagittarius, the trust is gone. I think you know it's gone. Mm. You're trying to move yourself into a temperate place. The angels are with you. They're trying to guide your actions going forward. What are they saying to Sag? Judgment. Wow. Temperance and judgment twice. Your energy. What they're saying is, Sagittarius, make the right decision for your future happiness. Make the right decision for your future happiness. What is Sag going to do? Okay, Sag, there's too much betrayal. I mean, this is painful, guys. I'm so sorry. But with a Ten of Swords, this is you feeling betrayed. And I think for you, this is done. It's over. Yep, death card. Scorpio energy. You feel betrayed. You feel maybe used, taken advantage of. And this for you is done. Yep, seven of wands. You're putting up very strong boundaries. Guys, this is a very similar reading to the Aries reading. You may have Aries in your chart. You could be dealing with an Aries, but it seems a similar type of reading. Okay, yeah, there's heartbreak, Sag. I'm so sorry, three of swords. Now, if you, there's a little girl here, if you guys have a child, it may be difficult for your child to appreciate, you know, that mom and dad are spinning up. But as far as you're concerned, I just don't feel that you believe that you can sort out the situation. I think for you, it's over. I think for you, it's over. Yeah, nine of wands. You're tired, Sagittarius. You're tired. You may have been working long hours, late into the night, maybe providing for this partner. And this is you 
realizing that behind your back she was forming a connection with somebody else yeah so with the two of wands you may be waiting to see what she says to you it could be a situation where you've already moved out she's already moved out yeah nine of swords I think this is this woman in the Nine of Swords because she's realised what she did. She's realised how much she hurt you. What is Sag going to do? Sag, I have to say, eight of wands, you're going to call her out. You could have called her sending passionate messages to someone. Or this is you angry. This is you angry. Yeah, because with the Six of Wands... You felt she sat in ego. She was nice and stable. You might have helped her out. Yeah, six of pentacles. You might have helped her out financially. And all she did was cheat on you behind your back. For some of you, I have to say, you may be moving into full divorce. You may. Mm, five of cups. That heavy weight sag is going to lift. It's not going to last forever. You're going to feel a bit sad, a little bit sort of stressed. Because with the Six of Cups, she may want to return to you. You may have kids together or a child together. She may start talking about when you two first met, you know, how much you loved each other in the past. But Sag, all you can remember is her deceiving you. That's all you can think about. Yeah, Seven of Swords. It doesn't matter what she says. What you're thinking about now is, I can't trust you anymore. Five of Wands. Conflict. Inner conflict. What is the conflict about for Sagittarius? King of Cups. Because, Sag, to be honest with you, I'm connecting with a masculine Sagittarius. You still love your partner. You do. You still love your partner. You can't help it. You may be trying to push your feelings down. Now you may even realise that your person was secretly in a relationship with a King of Cups, with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is this woman saying to Sagittarius? I think she wants you back, but... Um, yeah, she said she was foolish. She said she took a leap of faith and a risk. She may say to you with the two of swords, she's not speaking to that person anymore. She's not communicating with that person anymore, but Sag. I don't know. I don't know. King of Wands. I think you're very guarded. I think this is you standing your ground. I don't think you're going to take her back. I think you're going to cut communication and you're going to look to your future. I simply think that's what you're going to do. Yeah, three of wands. You're turning your back. You may even be thinking of moving from your area to somewhere else. You're embracing change. You're seeing this as a new cycle opening up for you. You're trying to remain positive, And I think you've got a lot to be positive about. Okay, you've got a brand new cycle just about to open up for you. Page of Cups. I think you're going to say to your person, look, I do have love for you, but I'm sorry, I'm moving on. You may need to have a conversation with your kids or your child, and that's going to be difficult. That's going to be tough. Mm. But with the Five of Swords, there was too much sabotage. There was too much that went on behind your back. Lovers, Gemini energy. And this is you healing. Four swords, Sag, this is you healing. You're doing a lot of thinking about the past. You're doing a lot of thinking about the past. Strength card. You're holding back. You're going to have the courage to get through this. It's not going to be easy. So Sad, you're going to be strong, you're going to get through this, you're going to break the chains, okay? Ace of Swords. And you're going to start a brand new cycle for yourself, a brand new life. 
For some of you with a wheel of fortune, you may look back and realise that this was all meant to happen because maybe you weren't completely happy in a relationship, even though you had a deep seated love for your person. But maybe it turned into more of a, a friendship, more, more than a passionate connection. You weren't in love anymore. You realise that? Mm. So, Knight of Pentacles, Sag, I think you're going to finalise the situation. This could be divorce settlement. And with the Eight of Cups, you're walking away. It's over. Okay, so what do we have for Sagittarius in the future? Four of Wands, you could be moving in with flatmates. You could be moving into a new home. The sun, Sag, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy again. You've got your freedom. You've detached yourself from a situation that looking back maybe wasn't the best for you. And you're going to meet someone else. You could be meeting a Queen of Wands. I mean, this is your true other half. King of Queen of Wands. Now, with the sun, she could be a Leo. You're going to meet a woman that you're very attracted to, Sag. And I think it's going to, I was going to say, it's going to make you feel as if you've got justice. She could be a Libra. She could be a Libra. But this is the person you're supposed to be with. Yeah, two of cups. Sag, for some of you, you may end up forming a very serious relationship with someone that you fall in love with. It may be a shock. Yeah, Ace of Wands, brand new passionate start with a new love. All right, guys. Oh, difficult reading. Let's move into messages. So here we go, guys. Andromeda Skies, Silent Heart Love Oracle. Let's find out what your person would want to say to you. The woman that cheated on you, Sag. I can't stand the thought of you with someone else. There's huge regret. There's huge regret. Mm. Oh my goodness, I am filled with regret. I can't believe that. I can't stand the thought of you with somebody else. I'm filled with regret. She knows that she was sat in unhealthy habits and behaviours. Yeah, she knows it. She knows it. Yeah, this was toxic. She was sat in her shadow. Yeah, I wish I could turn back the clock and do things over. But Sag, I think looking at the situation, you're going to realise that it's best to move on, cut your losses and embrace your freedom. You've got new love on the horizon. So people, moving into the second of the decks, Love Oracle, Andromeda Skies, let's see what you would want to say to her, okay? Fights, arguments, conflict. It may not have been the easiest of relationships anyway. All right, Sag, maybe she was jealous and possessive. Maybe you felt you couldn't breathe in the relationship. Destiny is taking us down different paths. I think looking back, Sag, you may realise that this was the wrong partner for you. This was just the wrong partner for you. And even though it's painful now, I think you know, Sag, that ultimately you're better off doing your own thing, going your own way, you know? Final message, please, for Sagittarius. Yeah, this is the end. So, Sag, this has been a difficult reading my goodness both you and Aries um but I hope you found it helpful just know Sag that you've got somebody new coming in could be a fire sign feminine Aries Leo Sagittarius you're gonna fall in love you're gonna feel happy again Sag just get yourself out of this stressed energy tie up the loose ends and look to the future it's looking gorgeous Sag you've got new love on the horizon all right so people, I'm going to leave it there. Have a good weekend. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Sage.